Good, uh, what's up, everybody? Jace here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is the 29 high end super superb owl, I should say, mixer with a Patrick Mahomes hollow giveaway, 10, a Brady chrome helmet, and $1,500 in break credit. So, again, guys, breaking this early before the Super Bowl so you guys can enjoy the Super Bowl with family and friends, whatever you're going to do. So, again, this was a, also an early bird break, guys. This was an $1,800 mixer, guys. But once you see the list of boxes that are in this mixer, it's pretty strong. So $1,800 a spot. If you were one of the first 16, if you bought one of the first 16 spots in this break, you have a chance to win an early bird spot, a free spot. So just for being one of the first 16 spots sold, buying one of them, you're going to get a free spot. Pretty good. All right, so we're going to do that right now. Remember, there's high-end boxes in here, including a $10,000 plus box of 2017 Prism first off the line, which we're going to try to chase in Patrick Mahomes, who's playing today, later today against Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. And again, at the end of the break, so the dice roller here will be for the early bird customers. We'll paste it, then randomize the customer names that are in the break from Gail, all the way down to Christopher, who won these in little fillers from T-Mall, Contenders Optic, etc., etc., Randomize the team, see what you guys get. Then we're going to bust open all 29 boxes. Then at the end of the break, we're going to use this dice roller here. Everybody's going to have a shot at the list here. Right? Boom. We're going to copy and paste it. And then customer name at number one after the randomizer is going to win this $5,600 uh, $5, card. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes, 2017 Hollow. I was just so amazed that we're going to give this away. The fact is, guys, that this card is like $6,000 right now before the Super Bowl. If he wins another Super Bowl back-to-back, -back, who knows, maybe he wins MVP. In his first four years in the league really playing, it's pretty amazing. That card could probably potentially go up $1,000, $2,000 within a day or two. So this giveaway can be monstrous. And then even this, guys. This $2,000 uh, $2, Tom Brady signed chrome helmet. I don't even know where it's at. I think it's somewhere over there in the inventory room. But it's a beautiful chrome helmet. It really pops with a Tom Brady, uh, you know, ink with white. Um, this can go up in value, too. I know it's not a Buccaneers helmet, guys. But, again, he won all his Super Bowls with the Patriots. Still trying to make history, of course, winning a seventh with a new team first year. So that can go up in value. And then, again, if you don't get into the top two, guys, don't worry. Number three gets $1,000 in break credit. And number four gets $500 in break credit. So, again, the box list in here, guys, is 2017 Prism First Off the Line, which is a $10,000 plus box. You got a box of 18 Prism Hobby, 17 Optic Retail, a three-box case. We're taking it all the way back to 2011. So that'll be, I think, Cam Newton rookie year and other great players. That's a case, three-box case of Topps Five Star. Um, you have a box of 2020 Impeccable, 2020 Immaculate Football, 18 Optic Hobby, which, of course, is uh, Lamar, uh, Josh Allen, all those good quarterbacks in that draft class. 2020 Prism No Huddle. Um, Prism, Mosaic, no huddle. Prism, Cellos, Mosaic, Cellos. 19 in case, first off the line. 18 Obsidian, 2020 Gold Standard, first off the line. 20, uh, 20 Prism, t 2018 Origins, uh, Zenith right there, Black. Prism Hobby, 2013, you know, 19 Optic Hobby. 2020 Certified, first off the line. 18 and 19 XR, 2018 Elite, 2020 Elements. Even taking it back to another Topps product, 2015 Topps Diamond. That'll be the last year that Topps did any football products. And then 2019 Passing the Torch. So that's a pretty good mixture of year, guys. So the cool thing about this mixer is you have a chance to win some nice giveaways. But also you have chances with teams back all the way to 2011 that may not be the biggest teams in the most recent years. But you can have a chance to win some really nice hits there from 2011. We're taking it back to as far as 2013, 2015. And then, of course, a lot of... Uh, Big hits for 17, a lot of 18, 19, and 2020 football. So good mixture here, guys. So again, giveaways will be at the end of the break. And um, let's do the early bird break now, guys. I'm so excited for this, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Dice roller, guys. There's the 18 customer names that bought in first. Or sorry, I should say uh, 16 names. Sorry. 16 names right there from Gail down to Catherine. So I'm going to use this dice roller here. We're going to roll it. And... Um, Six and a one, seven times. So customer name at number one gets that free spot. And then we'll use the same dice roller for the list of customer names that are in the break and the team. So seven times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, 
six and seventh and final time guys Brian Frank look at that came in in the top two man there you go you are the early bird winner you just won yourself a free spot in this break which is an eighteen hundred dollar value uh, free spot so there you go man congrats let's paste your name in here as the free spot and let me just quickly copy these list of names and paste them into the randomizer at the end of the break for the giveaways there you go right there now guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the same dice ruler now which is seven times and randomize the customer names and teams for the mixer one two three four five six and seven Brian Frank and look at that he came in at number one again all the way down to the bottom top and bottom now let's go seven times here on the teams now one two three four five six and seven Dallas Cowboys down to the Green Bay Packers so Brian Frank you have the Cowboys uh, Mendo has the 49ers Matt L with the Vikings Nathaniel you have the Bears Cat you have the Jets Brian your free spot was the Steelers uh, Regina with the Saints Joaquin you have the Jaguars Andrew you got that from Contenders Optic 5 got the Titans Gale with the Dolphins Richard Johansson from Contenders Optic number 2 getting the Falcons Sean Maddock with the Patriots Brian from Team All 2 you have the Cardinals Brandon with the Browns straight up Sean from Contenders Optic 3 has the Raiders um, Andrew Roth with the Lions straight up Gale with the Texans Mac you have the Bills Jared with the Ravens Narek from Contenders Optic 1 getting the Denver Broncos Richard you have the Seahawks uh, Mendo you have the Washington football team Adam Kupperman you have the Chargers straight up Christopher D with the Colts from Contenders team oh sorry from Team All 3 uh, Matthew Bloss with the Chiefs straight up good luck man uh, Christopher with the Bucks Ryan with my Eagles Josh Melton from uh, Team All number one getting the Panthers. Narek, you have the Giants from Contenders Optic 4. Adam with the Rams. Uh, Joanne with the Bengals last spot mojo. And then Brian with the Green Bay Packers. So since this is a pretty big mixer, guys, and I'm sure a lot of people are watching this mixer that are probably here watching it live that are part of the break, I should say, I'll, I'll give you a good few minutes to, uh, to get some trades in if you guys want to do any trades. Yeah, well, a lot of 2020 in here, Adam, so have a chance to potentially get some Herberts or grow your Herbert collection if you have any. But Chargers are not a bad team for all the 2020 in here. Again, 2011, I want to say uh, Cam Newton was, of course, was a big draft pick, so was Julio Jones, right? So if you want to go way back to 2011 NFL draft, you still have quite a few players that are still playing here um, that are rookies. Right? Of course, you have Cam Newton. Von Miller was a rookie. A.J. Green is a rookie. Uh, Patrick Peterson's a rookie. Julio Jones is a rookie. Um, Alden Smith was a rookie. That's I miss Jake Locker. But Jake Locker was a great college quarterback. He was a rookie in, in 2011. Tyrone Smith, uh, J.J. Watt's a rookie in this class, 2011, so that's pretty strong. You have Robert Quinn, Ryan Kerrigan, Mark, uh, Mike Pouncey, Cam Jordan, Mark Ingram, the running back for the Saints at the time, um, Cameron Hayward, Andy Dalton's a rookie in 2011, Rudolph's a rookie, Randall Cobb, of course DeMarco Murray was a rookie back then as well. Richard Sherman's a rookie for the Seahawks in 2011. Tyrod Taylor's in there. Jason Kelsey for my Eagles. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, you can still get, of course, the St. Louis Rams. Robert Quinn was their big draft pick in 2011. All right, no trades, guys. I know Richard Johansson saying Falcons and Seahawks are for trade. Um, but like I said, if no trades, guys, I'm gonna close it up already. What's up, Aaron? What's going on, man? Sprint got me nervous, guys. Can't even do the intro right. I'm just. I'm just so hoping that I pull something crazy out of that 2017. Probably higher than Likey, but it is first off the line edition, so that's probably why it's the big bucks. Honestly, Lonnie, I don't remember, actually. I, I'm sure we had some type of giveaway similar with that. Um, I vividly just remember last year because... Uh, last year's when we had a last year we had a hundred and fifty box Super Bowl mixer. Believe it or not, it took me like four hours to break it. That one did have a lot of like cases and a lot of like boxes that were the same. Like we had like twenty boxes of something similar, and it was pretty quick. But um, I know what did we give away last year? I forgot what even when we gave away. I want to say we gave away some break credit like a lot. But yeah, no, it's it's a. Uh, I'm sure we give away something similar like every year. No, I mean not necessarily, but I mean since it is Patrick Mahomes and Brady, why not give away something of of them, right? Because they're the most popular players. But no, I'm sure it's been other other players in the past Super Bowls. It's just that um, I think people got into this mixer just for a chance at the Brady and the Patrick Mahomes. It's like I said, guys, that Patrick Mahomes is only going to go up. Even if he doesn't win the Super Bowl this, today, he, his, his stuff is still always going to go up. But it can jump up drastically from today to tomorrow. Is what I'm saying. Ready to eat? I know, man. What are you going to be grilling today? Better get all the work done early. Unless you're catering. All right, guys. I'm closing the trade window, guys. I guess not, Richard. You're, I guess you're going to be stuck with all the Julio Jones rookies. And you'll be stuck with all the DKs from 2019. And some, some, some uh, Russell Wilson autographs from all this high-end stuff. It's okay. Some ribs today, Arthur. Nice. I actually did some grilling yesterday on the grill yes no, yesterday actually. Uh, did some some hamburgers and some Stater Brother burgers, some jalapeno burgers, bacon cheddar burgers with some dogs. So yeah, guys, this is the three box case right here of uh, of the five star. I'm actually gonna start off with this just to get out of the way because it is a case. And then, of course, here's the customer names that are part of the mixer. Damn, someone always steals my knife. <laughs> I read that wrong, Arthur. I, I thought I honestly read. I'm not even kidding you. I honestly read you say ribs injected with Crown Royale football, for some reason. That decision popped into my head when you said Crown Royale. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, once it sells out, Austin, I know it may say sold out, but if you look right next to it, there's like a couple fillers that we need to do. I believe we have to do a couple Donner's hangers to sell that out. Yeah, guys, hopefully some of the bigger rookies weren't redemptions. It's going to be really tough to get them now, but at the end of the day, hey, it is what it is. Nice, man. I remember back in 2015 when Tops had the last year with football. Man, they went all out. They made so many products and like, you you guys will see that Tops diamond. It was pretty nice, guys. That Tops diamond. You serious, Tyler? All right, we got Jerry Rice to 229, and some of these card edges would be a little rough. I remember actually, these being a little rough. Hakeem Nix. Giants. How about a little Tim Tebow. Alright, our first rookie autograph. How about a little Kyle Rudolph? Still pretty productive and very popular there for the Vikings. Matt with the Minnesota Vikings. Kendall Hunter, patch auto for the 49ers, 21 out of 55. Wow. Darren McFadden here, but wow. The next one is an awesome hit. This is exactly what we want to look for in 2011. And it kind of sucks that it's, it's going to have to be a randomizer. <laughs> All right. How about this, guys? How about a Cam Newton dual autograph with AJ Green, 20 out of 20. Dual rookie autographs. Very nice. Mix is already off to a great start. Twenty out of twenty. Cam Newton, AJ Green. So Panthers, that'll be Josh Melton from Team All One, and Bengals, Joanne. Very nice. That'll be a randomizer. We'll put that over here. And then last card of the first box is a three-color patch of Adrian Peterson. There you go, out of 40. All right, there's the first box. We randomize it, so one of those two teams will get it. Oh, sorry, did I say McFadden? No, it was this right here, Sean. McFadden goes to the Raiders. This is going to be randomized. I meant to say with a card that's coming up, Sean, it will be randomized. Jay Cutler. Clay Matthews. Dustin Keller. Man, this is taking me way back. Greg Little to 175. Balil Powell. For the Jets, Jets, Jets. Who has the Jets? K 
cat. There you go. How about more jets? This time it is a little um, Darrell Revis. Patch auto to 99. Revis Island. Pretty much, right there. I graduated high school in 2011. So, yeah, I was like 17, 18 years old. I was ripping all this stuff back in the day. We have our first redemption, and it is a five star futures autograph quad relic book gold. Titus Young. So I believe Titus Young is a Boise State receiver, and I want to say he was drafted by the Lions back in 2011. Yeah, Lions 2011. I don't know what gold is, but of course, probably not going to get this redemption, guys, but still have to give it out to somebody. A good Boise State receiver, though. And a little Mark Ingram, that's a rookie patch. All right, last one, guys. All right, man, there's still 26 more boxes to go. A lot of high-end stuff. It's not like the Lions don't have any Barry Sanders and it's high end stuff, Calvin Johnson. And who knows? Maybe it turned out to be you were meant to get the Lions in the break, but that Lion spot turns into the Patrick Mahomes or or uh, the Tom Brady helmet. I'd be okay with that. Our right, last box of 2011 five star. All right, we got Reggie Wayne. Anquan Bolden. Oh, did you really? I know some people that went to school at Michigan as well. Ooh, what's this? Is this who I think it is? Man, what about Ryan Mallett taking us back? Arkansas. Out of 90 for the Patriots. Uh, Patriots. Sean with that one. Uh, we got John Baldwin for the Chiefs. I like this old school here right here. How about a little patch auto out of 25? Two color patch of Heinz Ward for the uh, Steelers. It's going to Brian Frank with the Steelers free spot. That's nice. We got another redemption here and it's Ryan Mallett, Steven Ridley which I believe this should be both Patriots. I think Steven Ridley was also drafted by the Patriots. Ryan Mallett, rookie, we just pulled. So that'll be five-star future dual autographs, patch book. Steven Ridley's the one that made a lot of those funny memes, right? When he, like, uh, got hit and, like, his body kind of just like, twisted around, if I remember correctly. Just kind of sad, but I just... I remember Kim Curry. I, that's what I remember. <laughs> Steven Ridley. And to 88, the Sanchez. Mark Sanchez for the Jets.
Alrighty, guys, and there you go. First three boxes of the mix are done. Let's continue on. I'm gonna go pass in the torch 2019. Hey, Manny. Fresh new Hall of Famer. Out of 50. Ooh, what about a little Warren Moon? 7 out of 15. Torch Barrier. That'll be going to the Tennessee Titans, of course. Tennessee Titans, that'll be going to Andrew. It's very nice. And was that Plexical Burst? Wow, Plexical Burst. Okay. Uh, Giants, going to Narek. And we have a rookie, Benny Snell, Jr. to 99 for the uh, Steelers. And then Saquon Barkley, 15 out of 35. Alright guys, let's move it on. We'll go to that elite box you see right in front of you. So this is 2018 elite. We do have a couple 2017 boxes. We have an Optic uh, Retail 2017. And then, of course, we have the big one. First off, the Lime Prism 2017, which is a $10,000 plus box. Also, that's you, Andrew, right? Instagram, right, Andrew? Or Andy, the username? What's up, man? I knew I recognized the name. I was like, oh, yeah, that's Rob. Alrighty, DJ Moore, Pen Pals to start us off. 
Uh, Carolina Panthers, Josh, with that one. Justin Tucker, number to 75. Six ninety nine right there. Carry on Johnson. And the Moore brothers? Did we just get the Moore brothers? No, I don't even know if they're related. <laughs> there you go. For the Green Bay Packers with that one. Carson Wentz, guys. It's finally going to happen. It's finally going to happen. He's going to get traded. How ironic, guys. How funny is it that he's going to get traded to the Bears, potentially. But in return, besides getting a first-round pick and stuff like that, I, I heard the rumors, Tari Cohen, first-round pick. But we're going to get back Nick Foles. If I'm Carson Wentz, man, I'm pissed off as hell. <laughs> oh, wow. You guys hear that? Teams are reaching out for to see if... Russell Wilson's up for trade for Seattle. Imagine if Seattle traded Russell Wilson. That'd be wild. How's he a drama queen though, Ray Rice? right there. Patch right here of Jared Goff. I know, AJ, that's what I'm saying, but I guess teams are just reaching out. Why not, right? Give it a shot. It's not all on him, Ray Rice. I mean, if you want to call someone a drama queen, you can call Deshaun Watson a drama queen. I don't, I don't, I don't know if you watched too much Eagles, which I don't think you did, Ray. But it's not all on him. And of course, he can get frustrated when he got benched. I mean, I'm sure it's not more frustration with the team; it's just more frustration with himself. But again, it's not all on him. And honestly, I wish, I hope he kills it. <laughs> I, I hope he kills it wherever he goes. And makes us regret it. Because at the end of the day, I don't think it was all him that was wrong with us. It's just more more the team. Yeah. I mean, he does. But I, I just don't know if I'm really convinced with, with Jalen Hurts to be the real franchise future. I honestly think that if, like, Justin Fields were to drop to six... I honestly think the Eagles would take him. <laughs> Calm down, Mr. Cowboy. All right, let's go to Top's Diamond, 2015. Yeah, Jed, it's expensive, but not what it's going to be like in the next couple years. I mean, there's no team worried about picking up that contract because as the years go on, the contract uh, money is going to go up for every quarterback. So at least they're locked in on that instead of having to pay more. How we long? Eight out of ten. Man, I remember how beautiful these cards were back in the day. I mean, think about it. If if Matthew Stafford can get two first round picks, including Goff, which is a former first round pick, number one overall. Deshaun Watson is worth, like, at least five. David Johnson. Wow, look at that patch. Rookie. Eight out of ten. I think so, too, AJ. I, this is what I always tell people is that 
if God, if, if let's say Hurts got drafted by the Rams, what would have happened? What happened with the Eagles and and Wentz and Hurts would have happened exactly the same with the Rams. I, the way that Goff kind of struggled and played poorly. Who else were they going to put in? That's the thing. They had, he didn't have no pressure on having someone come in and take over. Where with the Eagles situation, there kind of was. Jalen Strong. I remember he was an Arizona uh, Sun Devil receiver. I want to say he got drafted by the Houston Texans. And look at it now. Goff is, be- Goff is gone. But see, this is the thing, Nick. Uh, the one thing that... J- that uh, yeah, Houston Texans. The one thing that uh, Deshaun Watson has to realize is that he can say, it, it can be a whole Carson Palmer thing all over again. Fine, you don't want to play for us? Well, then you're not playing anywhere. You know what I mean? Uh, we want you to be the quarterback here, but if you don't want to play for us, then retire. You know, because there's nothing you can do. And if he holds out, that's fine. He's just going to get fined. They don't have to pay him. Because I'm sure in his contract, just as it is, as you hold out and not participate in, in practices, OTAs, whatever the case may be, you're just going to get fined, and he's going to lose money, actually. So eventually, he's going to come back, and he's going to play. I don't see him really holding out, holding out, as we all think so, because then it's going to start affecting his money. And when it starts affecting someone's money, they eventually cave in and start playing again. And that's the one thing. You signed that big deal. You signed that contract. Kind of have to like own up to it, right? It's kind of when Carson Palmer didn't want to play for the Bengals anymore. They were like, hey, we're not going to get rid of you. Fine, I'll retire. Okay, retire. <laughs> we still own your rights, though, if you ever decide you want to unretire. And then they got lucky that, you know, they got Dalton, right? He ended up working out good for them. Then the Raiders called and said, yeah, I'm going to give you three first-round picks. And they're just like, uh, yeah. You know, and then it worked out like that. They are, Lonnie. It's going to happen. Like I said, people... People are judging Wentz's struggles off based off of this year. Um, and again, the Eagles just teams just suck in general. So teams will see the value in a first round pick. Because they think hey, in our system he's gonna thrive. You know, I, I I don't I can see that too. So I believe that the Eagles are just saving I think a couple mil on the cap space this year. And then they have dead salary cap, which again it's funny, like the Eagles already had like about thirty million in dead dead salary cap this year, but no one talked about it. But of course, when you trade Wentz, you're gonna hear, "Oh, Eagles are holding thirty million in cap space dead because of Wentz." But it was the same thing this past year; it just added up to different players. And then next year, you know, they're free of it. They're gonna save an extra thirty million dollars of his contract for next year. So that's why it worked out perfect. If they decided not to trade Wentz, they didn't have to because they can pay him all the money. And then they have Hertz only making about a mil, $2 million a year, which kind of cancels out, you know, out of 79. Julio Jones, Jamal Adams, Jacob Beeson, rookie. Portland Sutton. Uh, it's just Prism No Huddle, Alshon Jeffrey. Yeah, they need linebackers, AJ. <laughs> Definitely, and the, the secondary didn't work out as good as I thought it would. But, um, yes, they definitely need some more playmakers. I just don't, I just didn't like their offense, AJ. At the end of the day, the Eagles' offense isn't set up to have one big receiver to just take over. You know, like uh, a DK Metcalf or like uh, Julio Jones. Their offense isn't set up like that. So, hopefully, this new offense sets it up where you can have that one big player, right, that you're just targeting all the time. But it's all about also making separation with the def- with the defender in front of you, getting open. But their D line's good. It's getting older, but they're still good. The running backs are solid. The receivers have potential. It's just I think they really need to get a healthy line. You can't have Lane Johnson injured all year. You know you can't have you can't have uh, Brandon Brooks injured all year. You can't have Dillard, your first round pick last year, injured all year. 
you know, that's three top out of your five linemen that are injured. And that's the reason why they also struggled. Xavier Howard. Out of 79. The more I think of how the Eagles won a couple years back with all the injuries, it's like that would never happen again. Um, I just don't, I don't know how, even how we won a Super Bowl that year with all the injuries we had. Linemen, linebackers, your quarterback at the time, you know, how your kicker even got injured and Jake Alley had to be a rookie and take over. Colk Matt. Miles Garrett. I don't know, AJ, who are they taking at seven? I would love the Eagles to draft Devonta Smith, but I just also think that if there's other players left over, like if they don't if they're not totally sold on Jalen Hurts and like Justin Fields is there, I think they take him. Honestly, why not start a full rebuild and let them both battle out? Um but then I also think what if a big lineman is there? I don't think my Ducks lineman, Sewell's gonna be there, but Shit, I'd love to draft him. I love that Chase dude too, yeah. One swift to play more dude is good, yeah. All right, let's go with uh, Mosaic. No huddle. I'm gonna get try to done with all the more heavier base stuff, guys, and then we'll move towards, of course, the higher end, first off the line. And then we'll definitely end it off with that 2017 prism. Hopefully Goff does good for you guys, you know what I mean? Like he said, he, he's happy he's there. He's somewhere where someone wants him and believes in him. So that'll give him confidence to play there. I mean, he'll have pressure to be the guy there, obviously, but it's a lot of it's a lot different pressure playing for the LA Rams and the expectations they have compared to, you know, let's say what the Lions are trying to do, right? They're just trying to get back into, back into contention to, you know, potentially compete and potentially make the playoffs, you know? With the Rams over here, it's like Super Bowl bust, Super Bowl bust. So that always relieves a lot of, of stress and believe it or not for players, especially in the quarterback position. Now Matt, now Matt, now we're gonna find out how Matthew Stafford is gonna handle the pressure over here. You know what I mean? Like he's gonna have he's gonna have a lot of pressure over here. You know what I mean? <laughs> can he stay healthy? You know, can he do all that? Woo, there you go. How about a little Disco Joe Burrow to start us off for the Bengals? Well, you're going to definitely get this, Joanne. No matter what, this is all yours. Bengals. Very nice. Little James Morgan. That's the image variation. I think there's a lot of fans that love Stafford, and I think they would agree with you. They, they want to see him succeed. Adams. Stair Math Masters, little Joe Burrow here. Chiefs, baby. Chiefs. I, I, I just don't see them losing, but I also tell people it's not gonna shock me if the Bucks actually win. Can never doubt Tom Brady. And uh, they're playing hot at the right time. But I think I think most of us know that the Chiefs are definitely a better team. 
Isaiah Simmons, true silver. Two of blue chips. Clyde Edwards Alaire, blue. NFL debut, 65 out of 75. Barry Sanders, Hall of Fame disco. AJ Dillon. Darius Slayton, purple. Harry Kill. Marshall Falk. Yeah, that's true. I'm sure a lot of live fans wish that. Especially Barry, right? How many? He only went to the playoffs, like, what, like twice? I mean, he only played for like nine years, or whatever the case may be, but. And it's funny because Barry is not even a quarterback, you know? Like, he's a there was a receiver, and we're talking about a running back, but they were just so dominant in their position that you just wish that they would have would have played or, or at least made uh, won a Super Bowl. Emmitt Smith, pink. That's a 420 numbering. Joe Burrow. C.D. Lamb. And Tony Saragusa. Big Tony. Baltimore Ravens. Jared with that one. MVPs Tom Brady, Clyde was Alaire. Got Jerry Judy. Marshawn Lynch and little Jalen Hurts. Yeah, if he, he doesn't retire, he breaks it and he probably shatters that record at the time. In like record years as well. I mean, Emmett Smith had to play so long to even like, you know, be have that rushing record that he has now. My one thing that always kind of got me frustrated with like Emmett, Emmett Smith, and maybe Cowboy fans would like back him up, but when people tell him Barry was a better running back than him, or Barry, if he played longer, he, he would have the rushing record, like. At least maybe I haven't seen, but I feel like he always says, well, he doesn't, though. I do. You know what I mean? Right? Or, yeah, but who holds it now? You know, or, like, kind of trying to say, you know, well, regardless, even though you guys may feel that, well, it, it, that's not reality. You know? Which is like, don't be salty. Yeah, imagine he had some negative gains and still had 2,000 yards. I honestly thought Adrian Peterson would have broken that record by now or gotten super close. But I think him bouncing around, still being productive though, but him bouncing around kind of hurt that. I wish I could have seen him a lot more. I mean, I when he played, I was just a little baby. Alrighty, baby. No, no, yeah, that, that's also another thing. Yeah, retired with at least 
the health. Yeah, because I think what a lot of players do when they play for so long are their body just gets beat up, right? Their knees are so messed up, can't really walk. Who knows, right? Head injuries, especially back in the day. So that that's that's also kind of the positive of it, yeah. Because for his size to play in the league at the time too, I mean. Well, do people really know why he retired? Besides potentially uh, maybe wanting to be traded, not wanting to break the record because he wanted to honor him. Or, yeah, is it because he thought, you know what, like, I don't want to do this for any more longer, like, get out while I can. Yeah, but I mean, at the same time, like I tell the customers that are big Detroit fans, sports, you know, love the Lions, love the Red Wings. I'm like, at least for hockey, man, the Red Wings dominated for so long. I mean, they made the playoffs like 26 straight years, whatever the, the hell they did. Although that's something that you'll probably never see in sports again. It, it was about to start to, at some point, at least for hockey-wise. Detroit, I just feel like it's kind of... Kind of comes from the top, right? I feel like a lot of people think it starts with the ownership. You know? I don't know. It's like a mixture of bad luck, bad management potentially, right? Hiring. There you go. Just need the Lions, man. Just need the Lions. Alright, good luck, guys. This is Cello Boxes. Lane Johnson. Jacob Beeson Green. Jordan Love. I know. It's like for, <laughs> for like the Lions in general, that is like a bold prediction. Even though you're giving them 10 years. You know? Shaquille Bear, Lucas Cushenau Jr. I don't know, Mike. It's kind of hard to see, man. I, I kind of agree with Lonnie. It could be Patty just winning all the time. <laughs> I mean... I don't know. 
That's a hard question for me. Miles Garrett. I mean, would Josh Allen fall under the category of the younger quarterbacks? Yeah, right. I think out of all the quarterbacks, just because they made the playoffs and how far they went. Could we even throw Cleveland in there? Could we even throw Baker Mayfield? I don't know. Tom Brady? I guess the 2018 class, pretty much. I mean, maybe in the next few years, you can probably maybe throw in Herbert or, or Burrow, depending if the franchise just turns around. It's promising, though. But I don't think they're quite there yet. I think, if anything, of the younger quarterbacks, from the most recent couple years, I'd I have to probably say it's Josh Allen. But I also just see Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs being another Patriots like dynasty. If they win today, kind of can see that happening. They're just there either every year or every other year and winning all the time. Which I'd be so happy for that, only just because of Andy Reid. That could happen, for sure. Could be that kind of rival. I don't know, but I feel like Andy Reid will coach as long as he can, physically, right? Mentally. I don't, I don't, it would be shocking for me to see him retiring, like, in the next two, three years, but he is much older now, so I guess that could be a possibility. Michael Warren. Henry Ruggs. KJ Hamler. Lamago P. Ryan. Vladney. Peoples Jones. Which older? Tough one. <laughs> Give me Packer fans may be mad if when I say this, but uh, I I don't think Aaron Rodgers is ever going to win a Super Bowl again. But he's one that we really wouldn't want to. I don't know. I feel like he's I don't know. Does I don't know. Is it me only? Do I feel like since he's a little over too overrated? I don't know. Or is it just the Packers in general? I thought it would be cool maybe to have Drew Brees potentially win one again before he retired. That would have been cool. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think he's retiring already, right? It would be cool, I guess, for like... I mean, even though Stafford is not old, older quarterback. I mean, he's old, but not super old. I think his story would be pretty cool, right? Being with the Lions and really enduring all those years. Enduring all those years of just like no playoffs, injuries, and... And, um, you know, all those things. And then all of a sudden, his first year or two, he comes to the LA Rams and gets a real opportunity. Um, that'd be kind of a cool story. Is he engaged now? Is he having babies now? Good for him. I don't know, Travis. I mean, just like I know you have your personal preference with Tom Brady, I have my personal preference with Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> I just feel like he is a little too overrated, overrated. That's just how I feel about it.
Flacco. It's, it's you know we can we can throw out all these other quarterbacks right, but it's just it's pretty amazing to think that if we're talking about Super Bowls, Aaron Rodgers only got one right. Right, he only got one. It's a lot of quarterbacks that got one, which is crazy. Good for him. Yeah, winning and success always is going to be number one for every sport. But I don't know. For football, it's got to be a little different to me than basketball. Because there is only five players on the court. And each one of them is guarding you either one-on-one -on -one or two-on-one. -on -one, meaning that you have to potentially rely on someone else getting the game-winning shot because you're double team. But for football, there's a lot of factors towards that. Which I can't... Which I can't, I can't see that really in football because if that was the case, you know, you can make a case for Dan Marino too. Like, how is that dude supposed to do it all himself, right? He did everything in his power to potentially even get them to a Super Bowl and, you know, do all that and it still wasn't enough. You know what I mean? Like, the, you need a full team to win that. Where I'm not saying basketball's a little easier, but kind of it is a little bit. You can tell your whole team to clear out, and it's just you one on one with somebody. You know, Dan Marino can't throw the ball, then catch the ball for himself, and run down the field and score a touchdown for himself. He's gonna have to rely on other players, whether it's kicking a game-winning field goal, you know, someone getting the first down, defense making a stop. But when you see someone like Tom Brady win every year and, you know, going to 10 Super Bowls now, it's just, it's just, I think people just are like, yeah, he, he's definitely the GOAT. Because he is. <laughs> I've accepted that, even though I have hatred towards him. I got to see him lose against us, and that always made me happy. But if the Eagles would have lost the Super Bowl to the, to the Patriots, man, I still would have had a lot of hatred towards him. Kelly. Well, wasn't I, I? I mean, obviously, I don't really remember. But there was a year that they, they, they were the favorites, right? They should have won one of those Super Bowls they lost. Brian, what's going on, man? Good morning. Uh, we got to do a couple fillers, cat. I want to say in that puppy bowl mixer. Um, I think when I'm done with this, um, I, I'll see if we can put some spots back in. Because I want to say that in the item, in the uh, break schedule, it says for the puppy bowl, we have to do hanger four, five, and six. And obviously, we're just on hanger number. What is it? I think we're like on hanger four, so we can potentially put back spots. Yeah, we, so we can definitely put back spots, like four more spots, and let people buy them straight up and cancel a couple of those fillers. So I'll try to do my best to maybe get Nick to put some spots back in. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I feel like a lot of people would like to get that spot in that. Especially today, guys. I mean, 
I, I don't know how busy it is really going to be during the Super Bowl, but I feel like it could get busy after the Super Bowl. Definitely. There you go. See, Travis, exactly, man. There you go. All right. Let me know what's for dinner. <laughs> Let me know what time should I come by. So I, I seen a customer cooking last night on uh, on Instagram, like a card page. I'm like, <laughs> I, remember, I don't remember. I think they were cooking vanilla, to be honest. And I'm just like, let me know when I should stop by. <laughs> Everybody's going to be eating good today. KJ hat. Ooh, damn. Cooking some pizzas. Lamar Jackson MVP is hollow. I should say silver. Jalen Rager. CJ Anderson Green. Ooh, that green right there with Randall. Randall Cunningham. Ooh. You know, honestly, I don't think I've ever felt what degrees feel like. Like, I think the coldest I've ever been uh, outdoors was like, you know, when I would go to the mountains, like Big Bear or like Lake Arrowhead or something. Um, and I want to say that I don't think I've ever felt anything below like maybe 10, 15 degrees. Negative 13. I, what does that feel like, Jeff? Give us an honest answer. Negative 13 in, min, in, in Minnesota. Well, oh, cool 50, 57%. Uh, 57 degrees, sorry. Going to be in the 60s around game time. <laughs> it was very foggy today driving over here, though. Yannick Ngake. Chase Young. Adrian Peterson, Jeff Okuda. Touchdown Masters, Cole Komet. What? I've seen videos like that, actually. I don't remember where. I think it was like in Alaska. I've seen this one TikTok video of this person having to take a pot of boiling water and throw it. Ooh, nice little green, Mahomes. Throw it on their uh, on their mailbox outdoors, so they can open it up. Because if not, it won't open. It's like, man, that's wild. You know, answer me this, guys. For you, for you customers that live in like the cold, cold, you know, snowing, freezing. Do you ever get used to it, or is it something that you still dread all the time, even though you know like you're living there or may potentially live there for like, you know, your whole life. Do you ever just kind of get used to it? Even though maybe some of you guys did grow up in an area like that for your whole life. I honestly think it'd be a harder transition for like me growing up here in Southern California my whole life so far to move to a state or potentially country where it's just cold all the time. 
Although I, I always tell people I don't mind the cold, but I don't think I would like to, you know, shovel up snow or have to do all the necessary things to go to go on in a day to day life. Logger Manny, this is a case breaking channel. I'm doing a mixer right now. No personals here. And uh you can check out our website, man. Jaspies Case Breaks dot com man. Anything in the Lego ten just starts to feel the same. Just bundle up when it's hot. You know. Yeah. Really, man. Really negative forty? That is wild. How long can you actually even handle being out there outdoors like that if you felt like that kind of degrees? Negative degrees. Like like can you act like obviously I, would, I guess I could just look this up, but like when does it start getting really bad for you? Or I guess there is enough protective gear or like jackets and stuff like that to keep you warm at to some degree. But Lamar Jackson Pink, Chase Claypool. You just don't go outside. <laughs> That's true, I guess. Why would you, right? The Michael P. Ryan. That's funny. DeAndre Swift. That's true, right? Don't even test it out how long you can actually last. I was just wondering, though. Just always curious. Like, would they even, like, you know, obviously be information around there saying, hey, you know, make sure you're not out there for more than this much today because it's super, super cold. Right? DeAndre Swift right there. Denzel Mims. And Brian Edwards. Forty five in Texas and you're cold. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta go pull nice swifts. Pull nice swifts. No, I've seen a Christmas story, I would never do that. <laughs> I don't even know why people would definitely even want to try that. If not cover property, yeah, okay, that's what I meant to say, Travis, you know what I mean? Like, you just, you better be indoors, cover property, and especially if you have heating, because, yeah, right, that's, that's wild. So let me tell you this then, guys. I'm assuming most houses in the areas where it's that cold obviously have heating and cooling, but more heating than anything. But is there ever power outages? With weather like that, and if there is, and that's most people traditionally would just have their fire pits, right? Every house probably it's like mandatory to have that, so that way you can just burn wood in case you need to. Wow. Ooh, man, I learn something new every day, man. Learn something new every day. 40 Fahrenheit and Celsius are the same. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, that's what I meant, yeah, yeah. A lot of informational stuff if I ever, do, if I ever move out to the cold areas. I'll be prepared. Rip some of this stuff.
Yeah, gas generators, yeah. It's true. Well, see, that was the one thing, like, with here in L.A., there's just power outages definitely a lot during the summer because of people just using their AC units and just losing so much electricity that it definitely happens here a lot. And then even sometimes during the weather as well, too, like, when it was raining a, a ton, you know, with accidents or just potentially just Santa Ana winds, turning off the, the power, it just kind of sucks, you know? I bet you probably thought of something how is hot, because it, it is hot, and it's gotten hotter every, every single year, especially during the summer. I mean, yesterday, guys, it was, like, in the 70s, which is a great weather for, like, February, you know, but at the same time, the sun was so hot. If you were in the sun, it did not feel like you were in the 70s. It felt like it was 90s, you know, but the minute the sun goes down, it just gets, it starts to get, it drops right away to, like, the 50s, 40s right away. But, man, during the summer here, it's just dry heat. Unless you're living here by the beach, then you get the beach weather. But, see, like, where my parents live, they live about 30 miles out from here. Keenan Allen. So, when it's, like, 100 degrees over there, here in the beach area, it's, like, in the 80s. You know, it's, like, about 20, 25 degrees difference. And you can definitely feel it, of course. But, man, the dry heat, sometimes it's killer. Stidham. Travis Homer. Kyler Murray. Bryce Love, hollow. Calvin Ridley. Hey, what is glare? What is glare ice? Okay. Bryce Love out of 25 or 125. Ooh, how about a little Patty Mahomes color to 299? Nice centering as well. Gotcha, same as black guys, gotcha. Dude, I mean, imagine that. That's a real reason to have car accidents, is like black ice. The fact that it just rains here and people forget how to drive. It's pretty amazing. Dwayne Haskins. Washington football team going to uh, Mendo. Wow, no way. What a mixer. How about a downtown Kyler Murray? For the Cardinals going to Brian Frank. That is awesome. That is awesome. John Colleen Gardner Mitchell. This mixer was eighteen hundred dollars.
future eagle coming off an ACL, but you never know. Still can be very productive. Both are very sketchy, but I would feel like there's no way that people... I feel like the, in Colorado driving uh, 80 in a blinding storm is much more sketchier. That is... That is more wild. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I've gotten, like, two speeding tickets already. I mean, I did my travel school to get it cleared off, but... In my, you know, 10 plus years of driving, but I, I, I still go like in the 80s easily without even knowing. And I feel like I'm driving fast. And then I just see all these cars pass by me and I'm like, man, these guys must be going 100 plus easily. But I'm going like 83, 84. I just had bad luck those two times. Most recent one was actually last year in February. I was driving to Arizona. It was like 5 or 6 in the morning and... I didn't even see the cop was there on the highway. The freaking sun was just coming up and it was just hitting my face. Like, and I legit wasn't be able to see too much. And then as I was passing him, I seen the clock and I was like, damn. <laughs> I didn't even notice nothing. Yes, a lot of motorcycles driving in between, that's for sure. happens a lot. Ooh, Tom Brady has arrived to the Super Bowl. Uh, this is 2018 optic. auto in this wow these are loaded mixer boxes we got a patch auto in this guys oh our motorcycle is not allowed to do that in new jersey yeah here it's just here motorcycles are treated like they can do whatever they want really dude here adam there's motorcycles just driving 100 plus like in the street honestly I'm like, how come those people don't ever get pulled over? Why does that have to be cars? Baker Mayfield Raider rookie. Landon Collins. Two ninety nine. True, I guess they can't catch motorcycles. That's right. Ronald Jones. That's a blue. Playing in the Super Bowl today, guys. Out of one forty nine. They definitely do, Nick. They they do drive insane. Malik Jefferson. That is a velocity. Goddard, rookie. Carry on Johnson. Miles Garrett. Dakota Prescott. Terrell Suggs. Chris 
Christian Kirk. Explosive. Burnett, Nick Chubb, Jordan Lastly, Hollow. And Mason Rudolph to 35. Little optic patch autograph rookie. Steelers going to Brian. Ben Roethlisberger and Keelan Balich. All right, 2013 Prism, guys. We're almost done with pretty much all the big heavy base stuff. We're going to start getting into the one box, one pack type of part of the mixer. So we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. So, of course, 2013 is first year Prism, guys. So this is the reason why this price has shot up. Um, like Prism Silver... Um, Tom Brady's PSA 10s go for a lot of money, actually. Uh, I think Nick was mentioning like Barry Sanders as well. Sells pretty well PSA 10 wise. And then 2013, I mean, you have Travis Kelsey. I believe Travis Kelsey base are like 100 bucks raw. Uh, you have, of course, Zach Ertz as a rookie here. Le'Veon Bell, DeAndre Hopkins. You know, not a bad draft class per se. Quarterback wise, yes. But skill players... Not too shabby, but like I said, since it is like first year prism, um, it does have a lot have a lot of significance. Hopefully, we pull some good silvers. Chance Warmack, rookie. Well, they made Prism 2012, I think, in other sports, but football, I believe, fo first year was 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 football was this one. It was the same thing like Select, I want to say. Xavier Rhodes, Manti Teo, you believe that? Aaron Dobson. So if that's the case, I don't remember any Andrew Luck Prism rookies. Giovanni Bernard. There's a rookie impact silver, Zach Ertz. Ligo Slide going to Ryan. Jeremy Macklin, last from the past. Zach Ertz there. D. Milner, I think this dude had an injury with his neck. This dude was a baller in Alabama. Matt Barkley. I remember the rookie. 
Is it? Then maybe I'm getting confused with Select. 2013 was their first year. One of those two products was their first year, 2013. Might be Select then. I know, I don't think he ever did much for the Jets, but I wonder, I, was he the one that had a neck problem? I think he had a neck injury. DeMarcus Ware. Marcus Wheaton. Oh, we got a redemption. Denard Robinson, rookie autograph. So that should be going to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Monty Ball, Stedman Bailey. Rogers die cut. Out of 50. Um, that is Green Bay Packers, which is Brian Frank. Yeah, they're coming out with Prism Black. Woo! That would be awesome if they did. Oliver, what's going on, buddy? Mike Lennon. Yeah, I remember Mike Lennon. Keenan Allen. Deion Jordan, big Oregon Duck rookie there, too, at the time. Ooh, Roger Silver. That's nice. Got a number card, and you're going to get a silver now, too. EJ Fluter. EJ Manuel, first quarterback taken in 2013. Vance McDonald. Jake Locker in college, man, he was like one of my favorite quarterbacks. Robert Woods. Tyler Eifert. Tyler Eifert again. Oh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, 2013 Select was the first year they made Select for football. There was 2012 Prism. But yeah, those ones right there, that 2013 Select, Silvers and stuff like that sell for a lot. Anything, anytime you can put first year, second year type of deal on a lot of products, they tend to blow up. But still, one of the first two years of Prism, though, which people will, people will enjoy. All right, so Jacksonville for Denard Robinson, quarterback out of Michigan. Might not be able to get this unless they still have it, but get some points. Rodgers out of 50, PSA 10, so for 300. There you go. Yes, exactly, the clinic. That is exactly why you should hold Mosaic. Because in five years or six years when we're thinking back to, man, what was the first year of Mosaic? Oh, I kind of want to collect those Brady first year Mosaics. I want to collect those, you know, Rodgers, et cetera, et cetera. You're, you're going to go back and want to go through those, you know what I mean? Save that box for last. Save that. We'll go some XR. Start going with these products right here now. Yep, that is true. The 2020. I mean, this day and year, yeah, they're fire. Let's just hope that in like five years, six years, we look back in the 2020 draft class is like still strong. End up still being one of the better ones. Because that is my hope. These cards are actually really nice, guys. Drew Lock. Deshaun Watson, 13 out of 49. Man, Jesus. Vibrating the ham store. 
Triple patches. 14 out of 25 team summits. That is Nick Chubb, uh, Baker Mayfield, and Odell Beckham Jr. How about a little Jonathan Taylor rookie patch autograph? 23, that would have been college jersey number, right? Out of 99. Indianapolis Colts with that one. Christopher with that one, there you go. We got a redemption and a little Clyde Edwards Elair. And redemption wise, bam. C D Lamb, rookie autographs. Very nice for the Dallas Cowboys. Going to Brian. Let's go 2020 block. Out of 10, Joe Mixon. Bengals. You got Jordan Brooks. James Morgan. Wow. One, two, three, four, five color patch and autograph playing in the Super Bowl today. Rookie receiver Tyler Johnson. Bucks going to Christopher. How about some more Bucks for you? Tristan. Worse. All right, let's go uh, 2018 Obsidian. So this one's going to be 2018, this one's going to be 2018, and this one's going to be 2018, and then that's 2019 XR. Baker Mayfield, that's a nice rookie right there. Numbered 18 out of 50, and then you got David Johnson. Isaiah Oliver and Mike Gusecki to 75, that's an autograph. Isaiah Oliver. Mike White. Derek Nandi. One more. Austin, I don't think we put spots back in, but we have to do three fillers. So, um, I can't do that right now, but if you want to have a chance to win a spot in the Puppy Bowl Mixer for a fraction of the price, you can get into that 2017 Donner's Hanger. Uh, but the minute I get done with this, I'll probably cancel one of those fillers and put some spots back in, as people do want to buy spots straight up. So if I put four more spots straight up, then people can buy those easier, and then we only have to do like one or two hangers instead of having to do three. Or whatever the case is. Devin Duvernay. But that, that's going to go off at some point today. I'm pretty sure with the Super Bowl being today. 
Duvernay 49. You got Darrington Evans. Taysom Hill. TJ Watt. Yeah, we just want to make sure that we don't. I, I didn't want to just post it up there. The one time we actually just put that there. We, they see that video and then we get we get shut off or something. <laughs> but I think we risked it a little more with the, the mixer name. I'm like, man, if they come to our website or something like that, then they really had a target on us. But for the uh, for the video part of it, we just didn't want to put anything like that for half the video to be shut down. Traquan Smith. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just in case. Joining the stream is one thing, but if Roger Goodell really wants to come in and go to jaspiescasebreaks.com and see the title of some of these, <laughs> then I guess that is our fault. Michael Gallup. Out of 25. Exactly. At least for the title of the video today, you know? The title of the breaks is like, like I said, if they come to our website and see that, then it's wild. Anthony Miller. Uh, 116, I, I only did the first two. I know Joe did number three. Um, so I don't remember what Joe pulled out of his, his number three. But uh, the first two that I did were great. We do a lot of those Kate, uh, crates on on, uh, on Instagram. We do those about two, three times a week. We actually just did a crate. What? We did a crate uh, Wednesday, actually. It was about $2,000 a spot. Pretty wild. Oh yeah, was it two thousand? Yeah, I think it was like fifteen or yeah, fifteen or two thousand dollars a spot. It's pretty strong. Your Bart car, nice. I know that'd be awesome, man. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna head off around one o'clock. Go home, go to my parents, and you know, enjoy the Super Bowl with my mom. But I know, I think Joe's coming over here. Um. And I think Nick and, and, and Mike here, you know, his dad will be here. And then Sean uh, will come on after me and take over the main channel. And then I believe Teddy is going to go on Instagram after the Super Bowl. So no Instagram during the Super Bowl, just here on the main channel. But after the Super Bowl, I believe Teddy will go on Instagram and break for a couple hours. Josh Allen, the Sean McCoy, Zay Jones. Ooh, nice. Triple patches. How about those guys? Look at that. Twenty to twenty-five. Chiefs, man. I don't. I don't see the Chiefs losing. They're the better team. Uh, but like I tell people, it's not going to surprise me if Tom Brady and the pa and the Patriots almost said, and the Buccaneers win. Can't ever doubt Tom Brady, but Chiefs are definitely the better team though. So I guess more pressure for them, right? I know the Bucks came back and almost potentially tied or won the game, but that first meeting this year, man, Tyreek Hill had like 200-plus receiving yards in like the first half. You know? So, I don't know. It's just kind of hard for me to see that not happening today. Three first-round picks, Oliver. 
Three first round picks. Nothing less. <laughs> nah, I'm okay with one, man. I'm, I'm actually happy. I knew he'd get one first round pick. You know, you guys are you guys are also gonna be like this guy's crazy right now, but I seen a stat from Emmanuel Acho, his show yesterday, comparing Drew Brees' first five years in the NFL with the Chargers, and Carson Wentz's first five years, and Carson Wentz had slightly better stats, believe it or not. You know, believe it or not, and we're not. And he wasn't trying to say he's gonna become a Drew Brees, but. You know, has shown flashes potentially could be a really good quarterback, but I think it's all mental for him. Physically, I don't think it's a problem. He hasn't been injured in the last two years, right? Um, but I, I did see the rumors, and I think it's just kind of funny that it could potentially be to the Bears. For Nick Foles, a first rounder, and you throw in Tari Cohen. That's the rumor that we seen yesterday, and I think that's the most likely. That that's the rumor we seen last night. Me and Nick were texting about it. It's coming within the next few days. I, I think they probably would announce it today, but they don't probably want to mess up the Super Bowl. It'll probably happen tomorrow. So think about that. First round pick from the Bears, Nick Foles in exchange, and uh, Tari Cohen. Which is kind of funny. And that's a printing play, guys. Sammy Watkins, Michael Gallup. So that'll be randomized right here, guys. So Cowboys and Chiefs. And then Nick Chubb right here as well. I'm not saying the Colts will not try to get him, but I just think that people have been saying it's going to be with the Bears because they've had more contact. And Mike Gusecki. Oh, it's Justin Herbert. Go Ducks. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Give me a sec. Alrighty, guys, let's continue on. But the Duke's saying, I'm from Chicago, and we don't want Wentz. Well, do you still want Mitch Trubisky and Nick Foles? I think people are just judging off this one year, man. I think it's going to do him well, having a new system, a new coach, a new, a new place to play. I think it does that well to a lot of people. Change of scenery. Relieves the stress. Yeah, but everyone wants Deshaun Watson, but that's not going to happen. And don't tell me that you're willing to give a five first-round picks or three first-round picks for the dude, because most most play, most real people would not want to do that. Your future is gone just for him, which he might not even be the solution. Tony Pollard, Clay Matthews. But he's not injury prone, Duke. Why do people say that? He hasn't been injured in two years. Ooh, a little one of one. What's been big so far? Um, I think it's over here. Well, downtown. first of all, yeah, I got a downtown and then I got that. It was cool. Damn, that's a... I haven't gotten to the craziest things. But, yeah. But yeah, that Kyler Murray downtown was cool. I'm glad the redemptions weren't that good. Yeah, the redemptions weren't that good. That was a good thing. I've been top loading all the bigger stuff, so. Look through it. I'll take some pictures after. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know if the Texans are gonna want just defensive players for Deshaun Watson. They're gonna want. This is a randomizer. Oh yeah, yeah. They're gonna want first round picks. Deshaun Watson. Debo Samuel. Did he win Defensive Player of the Year? Who did? Deshaun Watson. 
No, I think they gave it to Donald again. Really? Right? Did they give it to Donald, guys? Did, did Donald win Defensive Player of the Year? TJ Watt's playing in the wrong era. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. And Philip Lindsay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Don, well, yeah, yeah, they said Donald won. All right, next fact. Go give me Justin Herbert. I'll take Justin Herbert. Hold him. Newton, Van Der Esch, Little Wentz to 149, and Jalen Hurd. What, what, what did he tweet out? Well, Defending himself. Today, or what uh, What did JJ have? Sorry. Ryan Finley. The future after uh, Burrow when he gets injured. Still keep those Finleys out just in case. Because if Burrow can't stay healthy throughout his career, he'll be right there. And then Devin Singletary. Justin's going with the Chiefs. I think us as fans that, you know, watch it, you know, we, we think some people certainly deserve it, but it's not like Aaron Donald isn't worthy of it either. It's just that he's just in there every year, right? In contention for all, that get, for all those awards. All right, so let's go with a couple first off the lines. So this is first off the line, uh, gold standard. This is first off the line, certified. And then we'll go with Prism first, though. This is a Team All edition, of course. You guys have seen that. And then we'll end it off over we'll here going first off the line encased. Then we'll go to Prism 2018. And then we'll move to Impeccable. And then we'll go to Immaculate 2020. And then end off with Optic Retail 2017. And then end off with first off the line Prism. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I feel you. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean, man. Noah Fant, Flowers, and Brandon Ayuk, Silver. And Brian Dawkins, Red and Yellow. Nice. Uh, no, Richard, I think the YouTube is going to stay on throughout. I believe Instagram won't be until after the Super Bowl. The YouTube will stay on. Don't know how busy it is. It could be busy. I know people, oh yeah, people, you want to put four spots back into the puppy bowl? Someone said that they wanted to buy some spots. Okay. I think we have to do three fillers, so I think that would help. It was only two. Is it two? I canceled one. Oh, okay, because so yeah. That means the one on the website would be the last so one. So four, five, okay. So then was Joe wrong about this? Four, five, yeah, and six? Yeah, I put four in last night after he did that. Oh, okay. So then, you know, so then we only have to do one more after that. Or that would be the last one. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, so there you go. Joe Burrow. Brian Dawkins. I don't know what Sean's coming in. He might, there might be a... A little, little delay, yeah. Because this is almost over. Mm -hmm. No, no I'll, I'll still be here till like, 1 or something. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We will, Tyler. It'll just probably be after the Super Bowl. Yeah, there'll be special Super Bowl hit packs tonight on Instagram. There you go. And then there's also a hit crates on YouTube tonight. Oh. Hit crates and special Super Bowl packs on Instagram, guys. Is this what, 2018? No, oh, 2020. Yeah, imagine actually. if we had a Mahomes out of eight or something in that prism. What, yeah, what are the numbers? Is it out I of eight? I think it's the bronze stars. It might be 13 or something. Oh, 12. Something. Discussion. I've been missing Mahomes in a lot of stuff lately, so I'm hoping I get him there. I mean, now that Watson sells so much, too, it's yeah. not a bad consolation price. Yeah. All right, first off the line, guys, 2020. Andrew Thomas. Oh, Sean's heading in now. So oh, yeah. No, I'll be here to have at least one, and then he can take uh, Dalvin Cook to 199. I guess the recap would be like Mm-hmm. Did you just fill out the thing already? With Joe? Yeah. 
I guess on a lot of them. <laughs> it was fun like though. The but what do you do for the Bud commercial? What comes first? Budweiser. I mean, I not Bud Light. It has to be Bud Light I though. Think Post Malone is in that one. Well, so I, I was just like, the, who's out. the official sponsor of Bud Light, of, Bud, uh, of the NFL? I'm like, what's well, yeah, Bud Light? Bud so I'm like, it has to be Bud Light first. That'd be funny if it wasn't. But I didn't know, like, the couple. Me and Vanessa, was ha- me and Vanessa were having fun with the, the weekend ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you say he's going to wear gloves? I did say he'd wear oh, gloves, but I didn't say he was wearing a glasses. For some I reason, say, I feel like I he's like. I said no to both. Oh. Uh, what color jacket? I said black. Yeah. I think right. black red. Terry Bradshaw. And then I picked Kenny G. I don't know. I think I put other. I don't think. I put, well, you have to circle two. Oh, you have to circle two? Oh, I only yeah. circled one, then I have to do that right now. Circle two. I put Kenny G and then other. Oh, yeah, I'll put one out there. Mark Brunel. Autograph, Golden Age. I was like, it'd be cool if Kendrick and Mark came out. Yeah, that would be cool. And then I don't think Drake would come out either. Yeah. It'd be wild if Ariana Grande came out with him. Big, yeah. Jaguars with that one. And Chase Young, one out of 22 for the Washington football team. And that is going to Mendo, Mendo, Mendo. Are they really sitting out the Super Bowl, the Budweiser? Man, I wonder how much Super Bowl commercials cost. It has to go up every year, right? Yeah. It's not like the same price all the time. Out of 11. I don't know about this year. But. Oh, gotcha. <clears throat> There'll be no Clydesdales? Yeah. I like the Clydesdale Budweiser horses. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Me and I was driving fun with the other ones. Like, what's going to be first? This one versus with this one? Or yeah, like the this couple. One? <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the hell? I was like, I don't know. I was like, people were... Betting on this, I was like, it's I was like, funny. Joe didn't want to put the switch songs, but he put these. What the hell? Yeah. I think if you had to write in what the song would be first, I think that would be better. better. Ooh, look at that Brady, seven out of ten. That's nice. Bucks. That's going to Christopher. That's a beautiful looking car. Scoring machines, that's Derrick Henry. Did you pick um, Chiefs or Bucks? Chiefs. Did you pick Mahomes Super Bowl MVP? I think I did, yeah. yeah. I mean, if they win, it's going to be hard for him not to Not to win, yeah. Well, you would assume that it was because of him, unless... Yeah. Unless, someone, like, unless, like, Tyreek or Kelsey went, yeah, they go out and just have a ton of yards and catches. Traded Michael Thomas to Jalen Hurts and Keenan Allen in my fantasy football league. Yeah, well, I don't know. Michael Thomas has kind of fell off this year, but he was more injured all year, right? And then you got Keelan Allen and Hurts on your team. I, that sounds pretty good. I, that's obviously banking that Hurts is a starter. <laughs> if he's not, then I don't know. Unless you already have another quarterback or you have, like, a two-quarterback league. Damon Williams. Jake from State Farm. 10. Jersey number 10 out of 25. Three-color patch. What if, like, um... Hurts get has an amazing year, gets hurt, and then Foles has to come in the suit. Like, we trade, yeah, that'd be we wild. Trade Hertz. AJ Dillon. At that point, you would never be able to get rid of. Him. Yeah, you can't. He's just gonna. He's gonna be like a player coach. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna be suited up. Like he'll be ready in case they need him. Oh yeah, I was wondering if Josh McCown ever got hired. Well, I thought he was gonna get hired as a coach. I'm like, are yeah. you serious? I'm like, man, this like, dude that's is really quick. Yeah. I'm I was like, like he's kind of jumping. Uh, <laughs> like the people don't even get a chance to get interviewed. This dude is already doing It's like that. Steve Nash, like yeah. right away. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. In case for off the line now. I was like, he must be really smart. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of people in the hall. I thought Drew Pearson. I got mad. <laughs> yeah, I know that dude. That guy. He like had to cry to get in. Basically. I know. He was so mad the year yeah. before because they put in what's his name from the Eagles. They did this on purpose. He was all mad. Who, Brian Dawkins? No, they put in a, a Carmichael. Oh, Harold Carmichael. Yeah. Who I think played for the Cowboys, too. Andrew Luck. Yeah, that's true. There's two cards? No, wow, this is a big patch. Darius Slayton, 7 out of 10. I 
You know, I heard those things are like legit, like really good. I, I don't know. I've seen I've, that, I've that really Trevor Wallace dude, that Trevor years, dude, man. he made fun of it saying it's like the back of this. This is what it feels <laughs> like on your head. <laughs> it was so funny. But then I also heard they're like $500. Yeah, it's kind of bananas. Nico Harmon. Mark Gassino, 7 out of 25. Jets. Cat with that one. Alrighty. Let's see the encase card. Skull. Go Vikings. 3 out of 9. Alexander Matheson, nine five, nine five ten, three out of nine. Very nice. All right, guys. So now we're down to the final five boxes. You have seventeen retail. You have eighteen prism. You have impeccable twenty twenty, and then you have immaculate twenty twenty over there. And then of course the big one right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to prism, then I'm gonna go to impeccable. Uh, then we'll go to immaculate, and then we'll end off with the two two thousand seventeen boxes. The optic retail must be a big box too. So down to the final five boxes, guys. That optic retail is probably a pricey box too, huh? Yeah. I was gonna save the last two seventeen. Yeah. The home's hollow and silver. Yeah. Well, the base are silver that year. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. You told me that. Same with Wednesday. But is that why it makes it harder to get then, right, or no? Because um, you would have thought you would have thought that they he would be like made a lot. Yeah. Even though he was tenth overall. Yeah, like the year before, once he doesn't have a base card. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't know. I just felt like it was so hard to pull Mahomes on. It's kind of funny that it is. Pulled so many, like, other players except yeah. him. I know. You guys have been opening the Donners. I haven't seen, like, one. Yeah. I pulled a relic in a in a, um, in a Mega Box. I pulled yeah. a relic of, of Mahomes, and then I pulled... Um, the illusions one where Sean like the red and yellow. Yeah, where you know the illusions one where it's him and like the older quarterback, yeah, Len Dawson. Dawson. That was in the same box, which was cool. Brandon Graham. But yeah, it's been pretty hard. Oh, I got some points. So you got two hundred and fifty points, everybody has a shot at that. Ronald Jones. Bradford. <laughs> I've got a silver coming up or insert silver. Gurley. Joey Bosa. Stewart. Justin Jackson. Oh, I thought that was somebody. Bo Scarborough. And then we got Richie James. First autograph. Nice Saquon Barkley coming up right behind him. Carlton Davis. Roger Staubach and a little Zach Ertz die cut. 199. Perfect. 
Dak Prescott, green ice. Out of 75. Marcus Valdez Scanlon. Nick Chubb, rookie. Jonathan Ogden. Minka Fitzpatrick. Nice little color match there. Dolphins. Wow, we got a Josh Allen. Stuck, though. Jesus. How about that? Man, we got some nice stuff in this mixer. Bills. Mac. Mike McCarthy. Ooh. Nice one. Look at that. Josh Allen. I have my first experience with someone not paying it on for an auction on eBay. Funny enough, it was an auction I thought they'd get. But <laughs> that's funny. Well, we had a redemption as the first auto, so I figured the second auto should be strong. Sterling Shepard. Sean Penny. Carry on Johnson, Alex Collins, Minka Fitzpatrick, and a Baker Mayfield end off right here as well. Very nice. Good box. Yeah, yeah, the points does replace an auto. So it was uh, the points and then the Josh Allen. Alright, so there you go. 250 points. Alright guys, so we're down to the final four boxes now. So we're going to leave these 2017 boxes last. We'll go with, uh, let's go to Macaulay first. I'm going to go with Impeccable. I like Impeccable. We'll show it again right now in the recap, Jet, just so we can continue on. I'll probably just make a separate video, just so people don't have to go through the two-hour video. Jared Allen to 60. We got Nick Bosa. 66 out of 97. Sure thing, Mac. But like I just tell you, like I tell all the people, just just remember, you know, I always would want people to make sure that if there needs any surface cleaning or anything like that, to definitely do it themselves or get someone to do it. But yeah, we can hold it. Just got to fill out that form and do all that stuff. All right, let's continue on. Little jumbo patch of Carson Wentz, uh, 15 out of 25.
Sure thing, man. We have a Grant Delpit, nine out of uh, nineteen out of twenty-five. Cleveland Browns. Brandon Sturm. We have a Michael Pittman Jr. 18 out of 25. Indianapolis Colts with that one. Christopher. Got that from Team All number three. Colts. And little RPA J Hart. Jordan Love. Just a one color patch auto, but hey, still a patch auto. 28 out of 99. Uh, Green Bay Packers had themselves a pretty decent break so far. Uh, that is uh, Brian. And then we had a blockchain to end it off here. Wow, it's a blockchain Justin Herbert. That's awesome. That probably still sells pretty well. Yeah, Immaculate Introductions. So there you go. Adam, you did get a little Herbie. You still got one more chance with Impeccable. Sweet. All right. Next one in 20. <laughs> you got a virtual. You got a virtual, Herbie. Ooh, does this have the case hit? It feels heavy. Wow, it does. Nice. The metal card here, guys. Uh, it is a virtual card that you can own in the virtual world. So you never have to worry about it getting lost, damaged. As long as you don't lose your password. Ted, oh, sorry, that's uh, Ben Roethlisberger. Out of 50. Christian McCaffrey. Out of 75. And how about a little Justin Jefferson? A little patch auto. 56 out of 99. About three to $500 for the blockchain? I know. I figured it'd be like pretty strong. There's some people that go hardcore in the blockchain. When you get when you buy the panini though when you when you buy the auction blockchains you, you can actually get the physical card with that this one is just this one is just um just all virtual Jeff Gladney another one for the Vikings Howie Howie Long nice Raiders nine out of fifteen. Very popular player. Raiders is going to Sean Maddock. You got a little Brandon Ayuk autograph. 12, one off the jersey number out of 25 for the 49ers. It's going to Mendo. All right, Sean, no problem, man. I'll be done around one anyways. I can go through orders and stuff like that. All right. And we got a redemption. We got elegance, rookie helmet, and patch autos. Card number 110. First letter, let's see. First letter is... All right, you're going to guess it? First letter is T. Could be T. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, <laughs> it could be. I don't know what other players. Yeah, no, other key. What's the second letter? E. Yes, yeah, T Higgins. <laughs> yes, yeah, T Higgins. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, that is Bangos Joanne. <laughs> that's funny. I guess it could have been Tua, but I think he's live. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. I guess that's true, but I think he is live though. Yeah, that's a nice Josh Allen, Mac. I mean, it's probably dipped a little since the playoffs ended, but that's a good one to hold on to for next season. 
All right, there you go. All right, let's go with the case hit now, guys. Oh, oh no, I feel like the metal card's loose. I can feel it moving. All right, guys, I think the metal is loose. Yeah, it is. All right, sorry, guys. It's Saquon Barkley. Oh, well, actually, I've seen this before. Look, dude, it's stuck, but it's like off. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> Numbered 420, it looks like. Yeah, you can send it back, and I'm sure they'll fix it for you. Who has the Giants? Narek. Yeah, I thought it was loose, but actually, it's just it's just off place. It's stuck, though. I'm not going to move it. Yeah, they glued it, but not glued it right where it's supposed to be. It actually looks pretty cool like that, though. <laughs> All right, I'll put it in a little slider box. Yeah, 3D silver, it's popping out. It actually looks pretty cool like that, though, but yeah, I'm sure they'll replace it, though. They had one job, but they also had to do thousands of these. Yeah. All right, so there you go, Giants. All right, down to the final two boxes, guys. Both 2017, both chasing Patrick Mahomes. And again, you got Deshaun Watson. You even got Mitch Trubisky. 17 draft class is pretty loaded, so... But, of course, we want that one guy that's playing today in the Super Bowl that uh, potentially can win his second Super Bowl straight. Potential MVP again. And, again, those giveaways that we're giving away this, today after all this, guys, is that Mahomes uh, Optic Hollow 10 could honestly go up a couple thousand after today if they win. And he has, like, a career record day, you know. Breaks records at that. Passing and touchdowns. Who knows? Yeah, CMC, Alvin Kamara. There's a lot of great players in this draft class. See the rock rookies up like 75k? Yeah, dude. They were like 10, not even 10,000. They were like a thousand bucks on last year or something like that. Yeah, he's, they're giving probably more like hype. Yeah, he's a tough time. Probably Ravel. The dude's always tweeting shit out like that. Well, he, Ravel has one. That's why he's pumping. Oh, yeah, he's probably, hell yeah. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool though, right though? Like just to have one, but cool I don't know part. if it's worth like 45000 though. No. But whatever. It's like he's pumping up all the PSA 1s. I'm very convinced that people are buying those because they want to create like a 1, 2, 3, 4 all the way to 10. Yeah, that would be pretty cool, yeah. Like there was one that recently sold it sold for like three, 000, 4 thousand now. Oh, one. one. And that one had a bad sticker in the back and front. Like, I'm just convinced that's why people want it. And then one that was a PSA DNA, it wasn't even graded, it was just in a holder, it sold for like a thousand. And it was all beat up, it didn't even grade a one. And you know what I seen on, uh, I seen on Facebook? Uh, some dude had a BGS Black Label 10 Kobe Top Chrome Hollow. That's not Can you believe that? Enough. What would that go? Yeah, that's the one they have, uh, Probably a million, I don't dude, know. that is wild. I was like, I've never seen that before. I was like, that dude kept that card safe. I know, I wonder if it's recently graded. Yeah. Yeah, they did like an opening of their um, upcoming catalog. It's like this It's guy. loaded, yeah. Chad Hansen. I was like, I think I'm going to be mailing this card out. Deshaun Kaiser Hall. Yeah, Deshaun Kaiser. CMC. Brad Kai, I'm telling you, we get like all the other quarterbacks but him. Great Iron Kings, Odell Beckham Jr. Tom Brady base there. OJ Howard. Does retail have autos now, right? Um, I think it, it could. Yeah. More better than Blasters, I guess, and all that. Yeah. Darius Stewart. <sighs> Joe Williams. I know, I've seen a little red too. We got the Flash, John Ross Hollow, Jake Butt, Trubisky, Bears. Yeah, it's not bad. Color. 
<laughs> Bradford. You like disappear from the face of Earth. Basically. Yeah, with like a mil hundred million of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> E.D. Westbrook. Oh, this could be one of those illusion ones. Oh, Evan and Ron. <laughs> they still sell well, too. I know, man. Actually, not bad. I really quite like every quarterback. Davis West. That's what I'm telling you. That's how all my blosses were the other day. I was like, man, I'm cursed. Jeremy Hill. Curtis Samuel. Alright, last turn. This is a Garrett rookie. Elvin Cook. Mahomes for the I know, Mahomes Prism is what we want. Dalvin Cook, Red Iron Kings. It's nice. Ask what coach has more swag? Probably Arians, because he wears those like hats that Joe has. <laughs> like that, probably. Scally cap. Yeah, whatever they're called. Yeah. Probably has a little yeah, bit more swag. Reed, if he has the foggy mask. Yeah, yeah, that's sick. true. So did they announce what happened with his son? It's like under investigation, huh? He's got problems with all his sons. Man. Yeah, dude, I remember, man. Yeah, the dude like in training camp. I was like, wow. All right, guys, last box. What was the thing that happened when he first got hired as Chiefs head coach? I maybe don't as an assistant coach. Maybe, yeah. Uh, um, there you go, guys. Three autographs and nine uh, nine numbered parallels. Yeah, the Super Bowl's here in LA next year. Yeah. The Eagles make me out in the LA. <laughs> Just like, F it. I can just try to save them So that would mean Maybe either Jalen Hurts cards are way up, or Nick Foles, or Wentz, or something. Yeah. You know, once it does turn it around, it, it wouldn't be bad to buy up his stuff right now, super cheap. Yeah. Remember when his PSA 10s were selling for like a thousand bucks? Yeah, eight, nine hundred dollars. I think they're still like three hundred. Surprisingly. I thought they'd be like thirty bucks. I thought they'd be a hundred dollar PSA 10s, but I guess not. I think like his college fan base and everything is just too big. Yeah. People still believe in his college fan base. You had three of these boxes when they first came out, Nick? Yeah. Did you get any more homes at least or no? Yeah, what? they're twenty grand now. After that was more expensive than the O three O four top chrome boxes like, like that. Yeah. a few months ago. I mean now that's probably worth a lot more, but Well after today if he wins it's probably worth even more. Yeah. How many first off the line boxes do you think they make? I don't know, probably like a thousand maybe? I don't know. The prison they probably can make more than. Yeah. Alright guys, good luck. <laughs> Jamal Adams. That's not too shabby. Good player. So these are the exclusives, huh? Yeah, I think so. The bronze star. David Johnson. Not that one was a number, at least not that I see. David Johnson numbered though to 149. Samaj P. Oh, they're all next to each other. Taewon Taylor. Yeah, you get like two rookies in a. Oh, okay. Let's see this here. But it's pretty crazy because you can buy Mahomes silver ten for less than a box, so you really. Yeah, you're really. You you're, yeah, you are. That's, maybe you're gambling on getting Deshaun and everybody else in there. Yeah. Or like a color. Ooh. Ooh, a red shades. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, that's Tom Brady. Ooh, Devonta Freeman. Out of 75. Stacy Cole. Brian Hill, Braden Cooks, Lamar Miller. JJ Watt, 
Kenny Galladay. Number to 275. Imagine if they did stained glass or hard glass back then. Mahomes. Ruben Foster, Kenny Galladay. Man, that'd be wild. Do they have downtowns at least of him? No. Damn, I knew they have that too. I mean, 2018. Eric Decker. D'Angelo Henderson. Uh, Trent Taylor. Uh, I think these are two. You know, there's a rookie there actually. Uh, it should be live, Kyle. It's always live. Yeah, I don't think it's pre-recorded. Behind this one. Blunt, is it? Oh, yeah, it could be. Behind this one. Oh, oh no. Damn. Godwin. Godwin's not bad, though. Like, they're blunt. Najoku. I'm, I'm just gonna start, start going this way. And I'm gonna start going this way now. Because oh. there can't be really that many cheap silvers. <laughs> well, Kareem Hunt. That's yeah, it. that's true, actually. I, could, I, I forgot about him. Ooh, the green. Oh, that green would be sick. Lions, Damn. Marvin Jones, Rodney Adams. Can you see that? Bears, Tariq Cohen, maybe Future Eagle. So it's pretty much two rookies. Yeah. Tyrell Williams, Jordan Reed. Yeah, I think it's two rookies and two base. Brad <sighs> Cardinals, Mason Reddick, or Hassan Reddick, sorry. Seahawks, Chris Carson. <gasps> there it is. Nice. Patrick Mahomes, silver. There you go, at least that. Jeez. Who has the Chiefs again? Matthew Bloss. There you go. Very nice. Yeah, I think PSA 10 is like over 14 grand now. No way, really? Two weeks ago, it was like oh my three God. or four. Or a little bit, six maybe. There you go. I made sure to do this as slow as I've ever penny sleeves. <laughs> All right, we'll put that over there. Hopefully more. Who knows? Jay Ajayi, Julius Peppers. So the autograph is a little stuck here. Sorry, guys, but Kenny G, Kenny Galladay, nice break for the Lions. They had some nice stuff. Andrew with that one. Two thousand raw could be worth way more tomorrow. That is right. That is right. Okay. Raekwon McMillan, Let's get this. Charles Harris, Marquise Lee, and Jeremy Hunt. Yeah, it doesn't look bad at all. I mean, I don't see it super yeah. bad, but then again, you know, I'm not a grader. Philip Dorsett, Hassan Reddick, Mike Williams, that's not bad. <clears throat> yeah, even if you get a 9, you can get 4, 4K for that. <laughs> yeah, you definitely should get a grade. Tom Brady will penny sleeve all those silvers and stuff. It's supposed to be three autos, right? We've only gotten one auto so far. Oh, I see green. That's Eagles. Is it three autos? Yeah, it says three autos. Elijah Qualls. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen this dude. From Washington? Yeah, Washington. Wayne Gallman. James Conner. I think I cut him in my Eagles franchise matter. Dave M. Connie, Little Wentz. Forty Niners, Joe Williams. It's a green scope. He's one time. Watson or Mahomes though. Yeah, Watson would be nice. 
We got Shaheen. Ooh, there's a Trubisky, though. Okay. Bears. Nathaniel with that one. I'll top load that right now. Thomas Rawls. Alright, there's one more auto autograph I see right there. Where do you see it? It's like bent backwards, I think. It has to be that. Same oh, it's is red. That no, that looks like it's 49 is red. Frick. <sighs> the cards are stuck down. Yeah, but it could be cheap. Damn. Oh, it's Joe Willie. It is 49. Damn. <laughs> that was close. Oh. There you go, man. You got this, though. Joe Williams. Switzer, Devontae Mays. Ty Montgomery, Rob Gronkowski. Man, these are just base cards that were stuck. All right, well, we got one Patty Mahomes. All right. All right, guys, well, let me penny save the rest of this stuff. I'll do the randomizers here at the end of this video, of course, but then we'll do a recap. Of all the hits we got here at the end of the... Uh, well, actually, we'll start a new video, I should say. Sorry. And then we'll do a recap like that in a separate video. Just give me a few minutes, guys. I just want to make sure that these are all these silvers are penny sleeved and stuff. Well, we did get some nice stuff, though, guys. At the end of the day, we got a Josh Allen in 2018 Prism. We still got a Patty Mahomes Silver again. Uh, if it can grade a 10, we know that that's a big hit right there. Like Oliver saying in the chat, even a PSA 9 was nearly 4K. 2,000 raw. Not too shabby, so, you know, pretty strong. Um, we got that nice Cam Newton dual autograph rookie with AJ Green earlier. Pretty strong. But again, you know, you didn't have too much hits in this mixer. You still have that chance to place in the top four, I believe, that we're giving away stuff. Number one, of course, being that five to six thousand dollar Patty Mahomes Optic Ten Hollow. Number two, the chance to get that Tom Brady Chrome Full Size Patriots helmet, which I think estimated value around two grand. Number three is going to get back a thousand dollars, I believe, and then number four gets also some money back. So you still have a chance to get some stuff, guys. Instead of just one giveaway, we have four different giveaways, which is great. Definitely helps. What up, Adam? How's it going, man? Happy Super Bowl Day, man. Enjoy it, man. Chris Godwin. You know, looking back, the 17 draft class was amazing, too. Could Adam? We could. Yeah, Nick, you're gonna. If we go to the Dallas show next time. You're gonna rock that McNabb jersey. I'll bring on mine. <laughs> no, because Bill said if we go to Dallas, you could rock the Eagles jersey. I was like, yeah. Alrighty, guys. So yeah, let me do the randomizers, the giveaways, all that good stuff. Um. So like I said. So this, this is how it's going to work out. So this would be its own randomizer, of course, because it is a dual autograph. That is Cam Newton, rookie, AJ Green. So that'll be between the Panthers and uh, Bengals. This is also a dual um, printing plate, one on one. Sammy Watkins, Cowboys. Or sorry, Michael Gallup, Cowboys, Sammy Watkins, Chiefs. And then, of course, 
you have 250 points that everyone's gonna get a shot at. But this is how it's gonna roll, guys. So let me switch scenes really quick. Let me switch scenes. So again, um, here's a dice roller. Here's the customer names that are gonna be part of the giveaway, of course. If you want a spot, free spot, and then the customer that bought in straight up. I have the doc right here for the giveaway. So remember, number one gets the Patty Mahomes 2017 Optic Hollow PSA 10. Number two gets the Brady Signs full size chrome helmet. Number three gets $1,000 back in break credit. Number four gets $500 in break credit. The points, as a little consolation, guys, is uh, we're gonna give the 250 points to number. Um, to number five. So we'll do that. So that'll be for number five. And then of course their own randomizers are the other ones. So with the same dice roller, we'll use the randomizer for the dual auto and then the dual printing plate. So this will be for the Panthers. And bangles. Did I spell Panini wrong? I spelled Panini wrong. Oh yeah, I forgot the I. There you go. Um, bangles Panthers, and then we have Chiefs Cowboys. Pannon. <laughs> All right, so there you go. So I'm gonna roll the dice, guys. Boom. Four and a two for lucky number six. Favorite number right there. Number six. So again, six times on the dual autograph first. Good luck. Team at number one gets the dual autograph. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Goes to the Carolina Panthers. Cam Newton winning that battle over AJ Green. Josh Melton. There you go. Dual rookie autograph, Cam Newton. And AJ Green coming your way. Now we're going to go six times over here on the Chiefs Cowboys printing plate 101. Good luck. One, two, three, four. Five and six. Chiefs, the victor after six times. There you go. Kansas City Chiefs, a little extra right here for you. And now for the grand prize giveaways, guys. Good luck. We're going to go six times. Six times. Remember, customers here in the top five get something, especially number one. Up here again, that's grand prize. Six times. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Boom. Six times. We got a six. Six times. Good luck, everybody. So, Sean, you know, you're going to get at least five, uh, 250 points. Mac, you're coming in at number four. Matthew Blaws, you're coming in at number three, and I believe that's a $1,000 giveaway. Number two is Adam Kupperman getting the Tom Brady full-size helmet, Chrome Edition. And at number one, Brian Frank, congratulations. You want an early bird spot earlier as well? And wow, I can't believe this. Check this out, guys. This was meant to be. So this is the randomizer earlier in the day for the randomizer here. He won the early bird spot. He came in at number one when it came to randomizing the customer names to match up here with the Cowboys. And now he's coming in at number one at the end of the giveaway. Wow. That, that hardly ever happens. So there you go, man. Congratulations. I'm going to paste it in the top five. Man. There you go. So again, Brian Frank, congratulations. You're going to get that Optic Mahomes PSA 10 Hollow 
which is estimated value between five to six thousand dollars could be more after today same thing here adam coverman two thousand dollar tom brady signed uh full-size patriots helmet tristar authentication matthew blas which i believe matthew you had the chiefs congratulations not only you're taking home a mahomes prism silver you're also going to get a thousand dollars back mac you're going to get five hundred dollars back and then sean i know it's not too much man but 250 points uh for that right there as well so top five so appreciate it guys in a separate video i'm going to have the uh the hit recap of this break like i said it's about a two and a half hour break here so hit recap coming up in a separate video appreciate it guys this was jaspi's 20 box 29 box high-end super superb out mixer i don't want to say the word <laughs> appreciate it guys